I'm sat in the driver's seat of my son's polo. The ABS light is on, so there's a fault with the ABS. Before you go taking the car to a garage to have the fault codes read, and before you start investigating faulty wheel sensors, I'm going to show you very quickly one of the most common problems with these Polo 9Ns which causes an ABS fault. Follow me round to the front of the car and we'll have a look under the bonnet and I'll show you. Now, what you may not know is that inside the lid of the battery box on these Polo 9Ns is a small fuse box. So, open the battery cover and you'll see that there's a live lead goes into the lid because that's where the fuse cover is. Unclip, one fuse box. Now this small fuse box on top of the battery contains a series of fusible links as they're known. And it's a particularly common problem on these Polo 9N series that these links are susceptible to vibration from the engine and road vibrations and can break which is caused by the mechanical vibration not necessarily by an electrical fault and the fusible link that leads to the ABS system is this end one here and if you look very carefully and I hope you can see this on the camera this fusible link is cracked just there very difficult to see and it is possible on some cars that you might not even be able to see the crack but that of course means that there's no electrical supply to the ABS amongst other things the final check before we finally condemn the uh, fusible link using a voltmeter or you could use a test light connect one side of your test light or voltmeter to the battery earth and the other side the positive set your voltmeter on 20 volts DC or of course you could be using your uh, test light on this side as you can see we're getting 12 and a half volts near enough or if you connected there with a test light your light would come on and if we connect onto this side as you can see nothing your light would not light and the voltmeter continues to show zero so that means that that fusible link is definitely broken and is so that fuse needs to be replaced. Taking the old fuse out is fairly easy. 10 millimeter socket or spanner and simply undo the two nuts to hold it into place. Then with a pair of tweezers or a pair of long nose pliers There you go, you can see that the fuse is broken, that's clearly the primary cause of our fault. That doesn't mean that there isn't another fault in the system, but it's definitely the reason why this system is not working at the moment. Some additional information for you on what all of the fuses do in the uh, above battery fuse box. So I've been to a local national auto parts chain and got myself a small box of uh, link fuses uh, that are described on here as assorted OTO strip fuses in this box the size is 30, 40, 50 and 60 amp now I believe that the fuse that I need is a 40 amp having selected the 40 amp fuse from the packet just drop it over the screw terminals like so and uh, put the cable back and the nut on the other end hand tight no need to do them excessively tight now if this happens to you and you're not able to get to a shop that sells this kind of fuse or maybe you're uh, away from home you could use a piece of fuse wire, a domestic fuse wire. If you, if you go to any hardware store or, or any DIY place, you can buy fuse wire 
uh, the same sort that you would use in a, is in a fuse board in older electrical installations at home and you it usually comes with 30 amp fuse wire on it you could use that uh, just wrap a bit round from one terminal to another but I would suggest that you do not do not use an ordinary piece of copper wire or a, or a, or a nail or anything like that because then you, you've got no fuse protection on, on the uh, outgoing circuits and if, there's a, if there is an electrical problem that could be dangerous uh, potentially that could cause a fire all that remains now is to put the cover back on the battery slot the hinges back into place they're simple little keyhole slots and fold the battery cover back into place make sure that it clips over the fuse box at each end and over the battery at the back side well friends I've just driven the car to the end of the road and back once I've gone over 10 miles an hour the ABS light has gone out so if I stop the car turn on the ignition again as you'll see the ABS light comes on and then goes out exactly as it should do